So this is the Sidewinder in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. We all know it as the worst gun in the game. It has an ugly amount of recoil and is often considered very weak. However, it recently got a conversion kit which turns this into something else. This is the Jack Thunder LMG conversion kit on the Sidewinder. It essentially does what it says, turns the Sidewinder into an LMG, but there's something special about it. Hey yo, what the fuck? As you can see, the longer that you hold down the trigger with this conversion kit, the Sidewinder shoots super freaking quick and annihilates your opponents. This thing is freaking fun. And without further ado, let's get wild. Everybody in every team. Watch this real quick. Die, just die. For the power of the side. You are crazy. I appreciate you, legendary real. I'm over here to entertain you. Nerf this. Appreciate you from the bottom of my heart straight up. This motherfucker don't miss. No, he's fucking good. That motherfucker don't miss, man. He's good. In the heat of battle, he don't miss. No. I'm gonna put this shit with the conversion kit. And now I'm using it without it and low key, this shit. This shit kinda nice. Boy! In the heat of controversy, you don't miss. Yeah. Ooh. There you go. MGB. So, well, what's up, guys? It's Yuri here by Nino Orquaji, and welcome back to another video of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 Multiplayer. In today's video, we're going to be rocking and rolling with the battle rifle turned LMG within this video. And that's gonna be the Sidewinder BR. And I wanna preface this video by saying there's gonna be a lot talked about today because a lot of content came out with this Sidewinder. So to start things off, the Sidewinder, in case you guys didn't know, got buffed as of the most recent Season 1 Reloaded update. As you guys can see here from these patch notes, it says that the Sidewinder got decreased recoil and gun kick while firing. And you can see the before and after thanks to Exclusive Ace, who's an absolute legend. And yeah, they improved the Sidewinder's recoil a ton it's still kind of hard to control but it's so much easier to control by default just because of this little change now the other thing that happened with the sidewinder when it comes to season one reloaded is that it got its own conversion kit and in order to unlock the conversion kit for the sidewinder you actually have to go over here to the battle pass go over here to the extra tier of the hrm9 and you can unlock it by doing the challenge of getting 10 operator kills while aiming down sights with SMGs. And you'll get the Jack Thunder LMG kit, which is for the Sidewinder. There's also an aftermarket part of the Jack BFB. And I am going to go in depth with this attachment as well in today's video. Because it's a very good attachment. And like I said, the Sidewinder has very terrible recoil. And you know what this does? Magically improves it. But there's some things I definitely want to talk about, so... Yeah, this conversion kit, pretty powerful. So while using the Jack BFB muzzle and the new Sidewinder conversion, I decided to nuke with the Sidewinder and create the most perfect class setup possible and drop a double nuke in one game on Rio. And then I also took the Sidewinder and used it without the conversion kit and made a class without it. And this thing legit has very little recoil and I was able to drop another nuke on another map, I believe High Rise, and I went crazy with this gun. So if you guys are excited to see the Sidewinder become absolutely god tier in today's video after this most recent update of Season 1 Reloaded, make sure you guys drop a like in the video, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications. If you're new to the channel, I upload entertaining nuke gameplays with nice edits and dope commentary every single day here on the channel. So go ahead and stay subscribed as we're getting goal, uh, closer to our goal of 250,000 subscribers. At the end of the day, I just want to entertain and maybe inform and have you guys have a good time here watching my videos on YouTube. So thank you for being here. But with all that chatter out of the way, we're going to go ahead and start things off by showing you guys the class setup for the Sidewinder with the conversion kit enabled. And then I'll show you guys the class setup for the Sidewinder without the conversion kit. So you guys can know how to rock this gun perfectly. So 
Let's go ahead and start things off. So of course, the muzzle that is gonna be the ace attachment for our Sidewinder now, along with the conversion kit attachment, is gonna be the Jack BFB. And in case you guys don't know, this basically gives every gun in this game very little recoil. You will pretty much not have a trouble controlling any single gun in this game. As you can see, it gives you 60% recoil gun kick, 20% horizontal recoil, and vertical recoil being at 40%. This is legit legendary and is definitely something you want to unlock as soon as possible and maybe try out. However, that major downside of increased radar detection is very important. As you guys can see from the screen right now, whenever you shoot with this Jack BFB muzzle on, you not only appear as a red dot, but as a dark red dot, the advanced UAV red dot, where it actually shows your direction that you're facing. And the dot stays there for like four seconds compared to the three second regular red dot. So that's your only downside. Uh, if you don't mind that downside and being on the radar in a little bit more nasty way, then you could definitely use this. And I think for the Sidewinder in specific, it's definitely worth it. I'm not really going to be running this on most guns because I would say with my class setups, it's easy to control the guns in this game. But hey, this muzzle, if you really wanted to have no recoil on a gun, you could at attach this on any gun in the game and have that benefit. So it's very powerful in that way. And the other important attachment for the Sidewinder conversion kit class is of course the conversion kit itself of the Jack Thunder LMG kit, which you obviously put on here in the aftermarket part section after getting this gun to max level and unlocking it in the battle pass or unlocking it uh, through an army unlock or just getting this gun to max level. And you get the 50 round magazine and of course the ability to shoot extremely, extremely fast. You do have a lower damage with this gun, but the fire rate goes up massively as well as your damage range. So there's pros and cons to this. I will say I do prefer this gun without the conversion kit, but I'll show you guys that class afterwards. Next up for our under barrel attachment, we got the Bruin Heavy Support Grip, which is gonna give us gun kick control, aiming out of sway, horizontal recoil, and finding instability. This is basically just gonna maximize the control of this gun even more further, allowing us to be even more accurate the Sidewinder, which is kind of surprising. The iron sights aren't really all that practical on the Sidewinder, so I'm running the Slate Reflector for a cleaner sight picture, and that, that way I can be more accurate and it does have a faster time to kill. And for our rear grip here, we have the RB Borealis Grip, which is gonna maximize our recoil control even further with that firing instability gun kick control and recoil control and there you guys go this is how i love running the sidewinder with the conversion kit turning it into the perfect lmg and like i said this jack bfv does all the work for you the bruin heavy support grip and the rb borealis are just there to kind of support it a little bit more you know no pun intended but with this combination of attachments you're going to be annihilating crews like crazy and you'll be surprised that the sidewinder turns from one of the worst guns into the game into something actually very usable and the way you want to use this lmg conversion kit is that in close ranges fire that trigger all the way down and have that fire rate go up but when you're challenging somebody at far range try to tap it just because the faster fire rate gives you a ton more recoil and even with this class it's a little bit harder to control at farther ranges so you do want to be smart at those farther range gunfights but otherwise this is a very good class but i think the sidewinder now even without the conversion kit is even better which I'm gonna show you guys right now. And here's the class setup for the Sidewinder without the conversion kit. And obviously, all I did was take off the conversion kit and put on the 30 round drum mag. And I'm telling you right now, uh, with, the, with the way this Sidewinder feels, with this class in general, it actually feels very usable. Obviously, you're always gonna be on the radar when you shoot, and very significantly so with the Jack BFB effects. Uh, but this makes the gun kind of fun to use. You might have hated the Sidewinder before this class setup, but try this out and let me know how you feel about the Sidewinder. It felt really nice to use, but like I said, it's not the most godliest gun ever. Other guns are still gonna outgun it, but this might be kind of fun to try out. Obviously the MTZ 7.62 and the Baz B are better battle rifles, but using it in this way, the Sidewinder, it ain't that bad anymore with this class and the buffs that it got. But there you guys go. I know I talked a lot in this video, but if you guys end up using this class setup and find success, or you enjoy the crazy nuke gameplays I got with the Sidewinder conversion kit and the regular Sidewinder here in this video, we you guys do show this video a lot of support. I work a lot on these videos, making them in depth and entertaining as possible so that I can appeal to you guys in the best ways possible. If you guys want to see even more content from me, check me out on my second channel, War Hero, where I can see where you can see Warzone gameplay, store bonus videos, and other sorts of random videos. You can also check out my Hero No Commentary channel for the best of my gameplay with no commentary over it. I just go crazy try hard. And if you guys want to see me drop these nukes live in real time and see my failures, of course, follow me over on my Twitch at twitch.tv slash markoverhero or on kick at kick.com slash markoverhero or my Hero Shorts YouTube live stream channel. I live stream on all these platforms at the same time, interact with you guys, drop nukes on angry opponents, and we just laugh at their rage. And it's overall a really nice time. So go ahead and tune in for the vibes. You won't, you, you won't hate it. It's pretty cool. 
And lastly, over anything, shout out to the Noted Gang from the comment section below my videos. If it wasn't for you guys, you know, coming through to the videos every single day and spread, spreading your positive energy as I spread my positive energy in my videos, I don't know where I would be in this life. So seriously, thank you guys for being the best audience ever. But I know I've been talking a lot. There's a lot more to watch. This Sidewinder with the conversion kit is fun, but use it without the Sidewinder conversion kit, which you'll see in the second gameplay. It's very solid. Either way, though, enjoy this gun. I love you all. Yeah. Here we are with the Sidewinder LMG conversion kit. Looking freaking beautiful with this camo. Uh, it's a pretty fun conversion kit. It makes the shit shoot faster after holding it down. So, uh... If you hated the Sidewinder before, this class, I think, might uh, might improve your experience with this gun. I don't know what these two were doing, but I know what I'm about to do. I'm about to drop a nuke on these fools. I am running no silencer, because with this muzzle, I have very little recoil on the Sidewinder, so you guys can kind of tell. And you know, recoil really hurts this gun. I'm trying to mitigate get the use of recoil as much as possible. <sighs> Damn. How you doing, buddy? I got an LMG too. The SWAT Sidewinder LMG. Pretty, pretty sweet. Ooh, man. I had to play real slow over there. You definitely want to make sure you have more than enough ammo with this weapon. You could easily have like no ammo. Did he kill him? He didn't kill him. Once you get the advance, once you have an advance with this gun, that's where it's gonna really shine. Cause you can pre-fire and like really destroy your opponents with the uh, the aftermarket part. Fucking hell! That's what makes it so legendary. Move to the left here. Got the advanced. Got the EMP. Now we're gonna make these dudes bleed. Bleed from the Sidewinder. Y'all were talking shit about the Sidewinder before. Sidewinder's like, nah, I got a buff and I got a conversion kit. I'm ready to destroy. I'm ready to really destroy. Sidewinder's back of a vengeance. He's a big baller LMG now. He said, screw being a bad rifle. I'm done being made fun of. This is my villain arc right here. I'm about to annihilate everybody and everything. Watch this real quick. Die! Just die! From the power of the Sidewinder. You are never taking me down. Like I said, it's an LMG, so you do want to be very careful running this. But man, if you can get like the right place with this thing, you're you're set, bro. You're set. There you go, MGB with the Sidewinder conversion kit, and you guys see, it's, it's Sidewinder, kind of feeling good. You know, definitely hold it full auto. When you're in up close situations, but in far range situations, just like tap the trigger, it'll be a lot easier to use this gun. Like the fast fire rate is so nice on this thing. Like, look at that. The fact I'm doing this with a Sidewinder is crazy, bro. So definitely use this updated build. You might have a f more fun time going for your long shots. So let's go, Big Bob. We have time for a second nuke.
Oh my god. I got so lucky there. You watch your back? You're not losing from this egg bro. Okay, we can get uh, this advanced. Can we get a second nuke here? Okay, now it's go time. We're not losing with this gun now, bro. We're not losing. Oh, man. Oh, man. Let's go. We can talk about the dancing dinosaur. We're going in. We're going in. Oh, man. I love this conversion kit. This new class, guys. Dex definitely makes this gun fun to use. I will say that. Oh, they're all together over there. Just trying to play smart here. Watch this real quick. Nope, I'm out of there. I'm playing it way too risky as a nade there. Goodness. So quad feed. I'm indestructible. I am forever. You cannot defeat the Sidewinder. There you go. Double nuke with the Sidewinder conversion kit. Let's see you can go, big ballers. Easy money. Got the Homelander decal on there. The Seattle Surge camo. Sidewinder buff plus Sidewinder conversion kit plus the Jack BRB muzzle. Really transforms this gun into to something wild. Okay, let's call him that MGB though. Big baller status. We love to see it. Freaking double nuke with the sidewinder. You freaking know. Yeah, use this thing. It's kind of funny. Fun little conversion kit. <laughs> I can't believe uh, I actually did that. Love to see it, man. Sidewinder meta. I wouldn't go that far, but it's an enjoyable gun. I will say that with the conversion kit. Let's freaking go. Good game. Good game. I don't think they got anything to say. Sorry. This little double nuke. 104 kills. Sidewinder conversion. I still can't believe it. They actually made a conversion for this gun that made it kind of decent. Plus the muzzle. And they buffed the recoil. We'll take that. <laughs> so here we are with the Sidewinder, this time without a conversion kit, but we're using the uh, the muzzle aftermarket part, which should really make this gun very accurate, and hopefully uh, very usable to use now, so let's drop a nuke. Yeah, I would say I loved all of them too. I, I thought BO1 was okay though. In my opinion, BO1 was the weakest one. <laughs> That's not a bad thing to say, I mean, I think they're all... You know, good games basically. I just don't think BO1 is all that. A lot of people like really put BO1 up there. I'm just like, eh. Like, it, it, it was fun for zombies and shit. I don't know. I, I just thought the multiplayer was kind of. Like, if you compare it to like MW2, MW2, uh. Like, was a better Call of Duty, so. Like OG MW2, obviously. Hey, my man E up in here? How you doing, King? What's up, Sickness? Oh my goodness. Where are they at, bro?
Sidewinder with no recoil, by the way. We're really out here. We're changing the game. Are they back here or are they not back here? Where are they? There's six of them. Yeah, the core 45 is my secondary. Always my secondary. Okay, bro. Like, I can't see you, but you can see me. I gotta creep around for these fools, bro. Literally. Try to get him, at least. Dude is playing super weird. You like the Renetti better? I just love my trigger finger. Renetti is good too, but I just like the core 45. Bro, why are they doing all just whatever? I Means my EMP. Oh, why are we triple cap? <sighs> I hate it when teammates triple cap. That, that just always throws me the hell off every time. Okay, hopefully I can get these kills here. Of course he runs away from me, bro. Wait for teammate to peek him. Oh, I might die here, low key. Oh yeah, I'm dead here. Gonna be up here. Are we safe? We are not safe. Oh, we are definitely not safe. You can't stop the Sidewinder. We out here. Sidewinder meta? That's crazy, bro. I really survived all that. Let's see you can go, big ballers. Easy money. Sidewinder buff? Kinda nice on this weapon. I don't think it's the best gun in the world, but it's definitely a lot more usable. And this is about the conversion kit, by the way. First gameplay was with the conversion kit. The LMG conversion kit. I don't know which one I prefer, but you could run it either way, and... With the buff that a gun got, as well as this new muzzle. You can actually do some damage with this gun now. Let's freaking go. Easy cash. I spent too much time trying to nuke with this gun. I can't believe I choked the way I did this whole entire game. They killed each other. Sidewinder, man. Surprising little weapon. These dudes know the definition of patience. But there you go, guys. Easy money. That's sort of what, like 50 gun streak? 40 something gun streak? We did pretty good. I'll take that. Yeah, try the Sidewinder with my new class. Pretty sweet, just like all of you. That's out of 49 gun streak. That's pretty insane, actually. We will take that. Easy money. This moment that our moral integrity can be eroded. I was gonna mute that, dude. Good game, good game. saying anything but 61 and 4 pretty good damage with the sidewinder tried out with a conversion kit or no conversion kit and uh, 
Let me just know if you're gonna be a fan of the Sidewinder now. I still think the MTZ762 and the Baz V are definitely better, but at least the, the Sidewinder is actually usable. It's not a piece of crap anymore. I'll take it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys want to see these gameplays live, then make sure you guys follow me on my kick stream at kick.com slash the mark of a hero. I interact with the chat and we have a good old time roasting ragers and nuking fools. I also stream on Twitch at twitch.tv slash the mark of a hero and you'll see a lot of the same action on there. Also, if you guys want to see even more videos from me, check me out on my second channel, More Hero. On that channel, you guys will see Warzone 2 gameplay, store bundles, and other miscellaneous videos that aren't here on the main channel. I really love you guys from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for being a beautiful audience. And without further ado, I hope you guys have a good f***ing day. Stay awesome, and keep being big ballers. I love you all. Shout out to the channel members as well. You're incredible.